Hi, welcome to another episode of your digital skills, basic digital skills and internet skills. So what we're looking here is we're looking at forwarding an email. What I like to do is recap each and every time. Please get bored with me. That makes me happy because that means you're getting along with what we're doing. So remember, step one, you need to go to your browser. In this case, it's Chrome, in this case it's Chrome which looks like this. And this is going to give you access to your google.co.uk or your Google. Com. It doesn't really matter which one, because as soon as you log in, it will actually re redirect you to the appropriate one. Okay, so what we're going to do is click on that. Remember, it's always left click. Then when you get to Google, you're going to see on the top right here, it says Gmail. What you want to do is click on that and enter your email and your password. Remember, if you're in Gmail, you don't need to put the at gmail.com you just put the initial part and anything to the right of at you can ignore so i've done all that i'm just need to click on gmail that's going to put my email up and then if you've noticed here on the left hand side i have oh, i have my inbox okay it says inbox that's where we land that and let's say um i have like an email here in my inbox and let's say i want to forward that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that email in order to forward it. So I'm going to click on the email and then sometimes it is nice, which is this time around. And if you notice down here at the bottom, it says forward. There's another way of forwarding that. If we go to the top again, you can also forward from here. Okay. So it depends of the version, but I think it's probably been updated to include tools. So let's look at these three little dots. Once you hit the three little dots, can you see it says forward here? So three little dots forward is one way. This is the longer way. It is just much easier to go to the bottom as we did before and just hit forward here. Okay. So that's you click on forward, but let me just erase my. Um, annotation on the screen again this is, don't worry about this part this is for me as a teaching tool visual teaching tool and then notice that I, I get a message that pops up what you can do is to make it a bit more clearer for you can you see this little thing which is like um, a little box with an arrow pointing up towards the right that means to expand the actual box okay so you can do that to give you more headroom and makes it bigger and then if you want to even make it much bigger is you can actually hit this little middle icon which we looked at in class and that's going to make it much bigger so notice how it occupies all this and again if you have the look at the previous video regarding to sending an email you have the two so you can send it to the person who needs to receive that and then remember you're going to hit send and then that is going to be sent to that person so let me forward this to my other email and let's check that it's been sent, okay? So let me just remove these visual annotations as a teacher. I'm gonna put my other work email. And then what I'm gonna do is send, and then we're gonna verify in our usual way how we verify that that's actually been sent. How do we do that? TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. We have the sent option here. So we're gonna go in there and click sent and notice that I've just sent that to me to myself learn about Google's terms of service which have been updated today February the 22nd okay 2020 so that's what that's there thank you for listening rewind stop go over it again until you kind of get the hang of it um, have a look at the video also that is coming up to do with dragging and dropping into um, actual Gmail to send anything. You can send a photo, video, audio, etc. That's been done for you. And then look forward to the next series, which we're looking at search both in Windows 10 and also on Google and on YouTube. So search is the next powerful thing for you to discover new things of interest, to enhance your skills and keep moving forward. It's always a great pleasure to work with you. 
Thank you very much for listening, and I look forward to catching you in the next video. Thank you very much.